That is not a soft bed. That shit turned a little bit unfortunate. I feel a bit fucking rattled after that. Um, This is where we are staying in Saint Emilion. Mm -hmm. Smells like an old person's house. Dad's in this one. He's making a bed. Yeah, this Airbnb is a bit basic. Cute. Um, kitchen. And then you got the bathroom. Slightly, yeah, slightly renovated. Little toilet. There's a sink. Yours truly. Um, a fucking tiny shower. And then I am up these stairs. Which is a very cute room. Uh, yeah, wardrobe. Here is truly. And the bed. Oh, that is not a soft bed. Damn. Fucking hell. What can you do? So this is us for the next two nights. I don't really know what we're really gonna do. I think we might go to a few more chateaux and go to town and eat and drink more. Maybe some big walks now that the weather's cooled down a bit and that's doable. Maybe a little bit of chilling as well. I feel like I'm really tired from the weekend that we've just had. It's tiring being on holiday. Yeah, I'm gonna have a shower and I'll see you guys soon. We were at the most beautiful chateau. I can't even, like, look at that. It's ridiculous. We did want to book in for dinner, but it was fully booked, so it didn't go well. But yeah, this is called Chateau Grand Barrel. Barrel, Barrel. It's hard to like get the accent right without like being borderline offensive and inappropriate. I don't want to be that. But yeah, we're just having some drinks and some snacks here instead. I think we just decided that we're gonna have a chill night. It's only like se it's barely seven o'clock, and then we're just gonna go home and have a chill one. Finish our wines, and I'll probably see you tomorrow. I don't know why. We're just sitting here drinking wine and I've been going through the like terminology dictionary of wine because when I, when I go home I just, I just want to sound knowledgeable. I'm going to be a wine sommelier which is obviously a professional in the field of wines. My favourite sentence is, the length of that hot wine is fat. <laughs> Let me act it out for you. Hmm. This is a claret by the way. Yes. Mm. The length of that hot fat red. That... <laughs> mm. The length of that hot red is quite fat. I'll translate for you. But basically, the length is the amount of time that wine lingers in your mouth. Hot is wine that's high in alcohol. And fat is. There's a gecko on that wall, Dad. Look above that oh, vine. Yeah. He was moving just before. Yeah. And fat is like how much of the wine fills your mouth. You know what I mean? Like, you know when you take a sip of something and it goes straight down and you don't really feel it too much penetrating all areas of your mouth? Well, that would be... What, what was the opposite of fat then? Would you call it a thin wine? Or would you just say that it's not a fat wine? <laughs> I don't know. But yes, that a fat wine is obviously, you know, it's getting in there. Yeah, that's my, that's my favourite sentence, so, you know, thanks for accommodating me. Wine lips. We're off home. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to continue watching the newest season of Peaky Blinders and have an early night. See you tomorrow. Oh my god, it even just got, it got way heavier. <laughs> okay, bye. Well... well. Shit turned a little bit unfortunate. Not our fault. Your bag works. <laughs> Excellent. Stunning.
You look beautiful. Thank you. Good morning. We have walked back into Santa Mignon for the rest of the day. As you guys saw, obviously our car didn't do too well. Um, so we're walking everywhere and we're going to have to train from Santa Mignon to Bordeaux and then Bordeaux to Paris. We were going to be driving, but obviously that is not happening anymore. We're all fine. Everyone's super fine. But like literally this person just like lost control and came head on into our traffic, but then headed into the ditch. So we only clipped him. But his car's like fucked, like he's done. Unfortunate, <laughs> what can you do? We're just gonna cruise around the town. Let's go. Oh, that is sweaty. We, oh, that is from my sunglasses. Oh well. We walked around for like an hour or two and then we decided that we're actually just gonna get on the train and go to this town called Le Bon, which is like halfway in between Santa Million, which is here, and Bordeaux, and just go and explore that. Why not? But I need to go to the toilet and I don't have to use this one. Fucking rookie error. I should have peed at the fucking cafe. Oh well. Oh, you have to pay. You're kidding. I don't have any fucking money on me. What's that side? It's a, oh my god. That side's a straight urinal. Why? Okay, so men who want to pee get to pee for free. That is a sexist toilet if I've ever seen one. <sighs> Better be fucking clean if I go in there. I feel a bit fucking rattled after that. Oh, fuck me. That's so pretty. Very cute. Loving. It's beautiful though. I almost feel like the top of that is falling off. It's pretty though. the most delicious Vietnamese food. I feel like being vegan in France, like, like just don't be vegan in France. It's fucking impossible, I swear. Full of vegetables and things that I could eat, and so I'm very happy and full. Lovely. Now that we don't have a car, we're walking everywhere, which is fine, and probably even better because we have multiple drinks every night. But it just means that we struggle to find where we're supposed to go. Look, dad's even on his phone trying to figure out which way, but I recognize the tennis courts over there. So I feel like I'm just walking in the right direction. I'm just gonna keep going. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, it's actually, what? Like, everything is so cool. New Zealand just like doesn't have buildings that are in this style and you love what you don't have, right? So here I am. Oh my god, he's literally still fucking standing at that roundabout. He, he's still standing there. I know this is the right way. I'm just gonna keep walking. I know I know I walked past those tennis courts. I know it. Yeah, so we're just gonna go home. We've had a great day. Oh, he's walking now. He's figured it out. I was going the right way. You could Google map it or you could ask me, mate. Look. Tomorrow we are going to Paris. I will probably start a whole new vlog for Paris because it's just gonna be a different vibe and so I wanna kick it off totally different. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed coming with me to Bordeaux and trying wines and I hope I shot enough footage for you guys. Sometimes it's hard to remember it when you're fucking pissed. I will see you guys in Paris. I won't film any more tonight because I'm not really gonna do anything interesting other than go to bed. So I don't want to see that. I'm excited to go to Paris, but I'm also sad to say goodbye to this beautiful wine region. And I'm also, but also at the same time, I'm like, fuck, shit was wild here. Like, we said goodbye to our car. RIP, baby. Anyways, dad is taking his fucking sweet, sweet time. Well, man, I'm blue. Me, me, me.
Oh. Sorry, I speak English. I'm okay though. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I don't know what he's saying. I can't speak French. I feel terrible. I've got no idea what he said. Anyway. <laughs>